Our hearts and mouths are linked according to the Bible. We can see the condition of our heart, whether good or evil, by listening to the words that we say. Top of the morning to you. When we consider who we are in Christ with the mind of love and a firm determination to get to know personally and more fully our God, we note that when we read God's word, how our hearts and mouths are connected. We can tell what's in our hearts by listening to the words that come out of our mouths. If we curse with our mouths, our hearts are full of evil. Matthew 15, 8, 18, Jesus speaking, whatever comes out of the mouth comes from the heart. They are linked. This determines if a person is unclean or defiled. Verse 19, for out of the heart comes evil thoughts such as murder or hate, adultery, sexual vice, theft, lying, slander, irreverent speech, and no amount of I was just kidding can hide it. Matthew 12, 34, Jesus speaking, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Luke 6, 45, a good person out of the treasure of their heart brings forth good. An evil person out of the evil treasure out of the evil treasure of its heart brings forth evil. For out of the abundance of the heart their mouth speaks. Psalm nineteen fourteen. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O God, my strength and my redeemer. Psalm forty nine three. My mouth shall speak wisdom. The meditation of my heart shall give understanding. Proverbs 15, 28, the heart of the righteous studies how to answer. The mouth of the wicked pours forth evil. There are those who look to deceive. In Matthew 15, 7 through 8, Jesus speaking, those hypocrites draw near to me with their mouths and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Verse 9, and in vain do they worship me. Romans 10, 8, when God's word is near you in your mouth and in your heart. Verse 9, if you confess with them with your mouth, to the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Verse 10, for with the heart one believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Jeremiah 29, God, God's word is in my heart like a fire, a fire shut up in my bones. I'm weary of holding it in. Indeed, I cannot. Mark 11:23, Jesus speaking, if anyone does not doubt in his heart, in their heart, but believes that what they are saying will happen, it will be done for them. Uh, we get an example of this in action with the woman in Matthew fifteen twenty two through 28. She tells Jesus her daughter is severely demon-possessed. Jesus tells the woman, great is your faith. Be it done unto you as you wish. And the daughter was cured. Words of encouragement, Deuteronomy thirty seventeen tells us if our hearts are truly away from God so that we don't hear and are drawn away and worship other gods and serve them, verse 18, and we shall surely die. Psalm nineteen twelve tells us, ask God to cleanse us from our hidden faults or sins that are lurking in our heart. We'll know we are good when the words that come out of our mouths are good. Have a great day.